Atlanta United Fan TV here with Tanner. 2 0 win. Uh, pretty convincing in uh, some respects, but also to note, it is kind of a depleted side because they had to rotate pretty heavily. But still, we had a lot of chances. Didn't really possess all that much, but I think, uh, you know, a lot of guys had a hell of a match. I mean, possession doesn't really matter when you're playing that well. Every time Atlanta had got the ball and broke forward, it was with intent. It was with purpose. It was a lot of forward passing. But even when it when you had to possess the ball and pass it sideways, it was quick. It was with tempo. They moved Toronto around. And I don't care that they weren't full strength. Ezekiel Barco is gone, your best player so far this season. But PC Martinez had an incredible game tonight, despite not getting on the score sheet. But you absolutely dominated them, despite the fact you didn't have possession. Did they even have a shot on target? I, I don't know if they did by the end of the game. So you controlled a team with a player in Pozuelo who's having an amazing season, and he did play, and he was quiet. And you easily could have had three, four, five goals. You didn't, but at the same time, you were completely in control. You dominated an opponent. And for the fourth time in five games, you've won a game and kept a clean sheet. That is progress. That is improvement. And tonight was entertaining on top of all of that. And that's what you want to have. Uh, now, in terms of, yeah, like, uh, why was Pozuelo uh, quiet? Did, was he just uh, in Remedi's pocket the whole time, or what happened? I think that Atlanta United were just very superb defensively, with the exception of Breck Shea, who maybe didn't have his best game as an as a, as a Atlanta United player. Um, he wasn't terrible, but he definitely... Yeah, he created the most chances in the first half, though, actually. Defensively, he was a bit liable for some things, but on the whole, he, he still was decent. But compared to where everyone else was, he could say he's your worst player, but... Again, I'd have no complaints. I still think if you can get a left back that can get up and down and consistently perform there, this team will be almost complete in terms of it starting 11. Um, but still, the, it was a complete performance defensively. Miles Robinson was incredible. I mean, he's getting so much better on the ball as each game goes by. And that's the one thing I think you can point to, that Frank DeBoer was right from the get-go. Yes, he had a nightmare in Herediana, but the whole team did. But since then, he's been your most consistent performer at the back. LGP was phenomenal tonight. He played very, very well. Franco Escobar was doing well. I mean, there was a lot of things that happened. And, and what was interesting is that when Atlanta and I were out of possession, Julian Gressel would often tuck in to almost be an auxiliary central midfielder to really crowd that space out. So players like Pozuelo aren't going to get the space and be able to operate between the lines, which is where they find their most joy. On the other hand, that's what Atlanta United finally did tonight. You had players like PT dropping into space. You had Tito Vijalba coming inside into the middle, making himself available, but also staying wide and getting into space. I mean, a couple times, Breck Shea, if he plays a little bit of a better ball to Tito, he fully has him released, but that's just something that's going to happen. I'm not going to complain about that too much. But on the whole, I mean, going forward, this team was incredible. PT ran the show despite not being on the score sheet. He had some great combinations and flicks with Darlington and Nagby where they would just move and take out two, three players just so quickly. And, you know, the only complaint is being a bit more clinical in front of goal, but at the end of the day, 2-0, great result, three more points, you're climbing up the table, you still have games in hand, and you really can see that progress. And I think that comes from the familiarity within this system that they're finally starting to get. They finally know when to pass, when to move, when to make those, when to make those movements within the system. And as that happens, they're going to keep getting better. Now, speaking of the being clinical in front of goal, uh, Joseph Martinez passed it off twice when he arguably could have taken it himself. Uh, it's kind of you're seeing more of the maybe the playmaker Joseph Martinez uh, this year, but in terms of uh, finishing those chances, would you have liked to see him taken? Or, uh, you know, because it's both of those got called offside. I mean, the two they got called offside, that's frustrating. But they were offside at the, in the buildup. And I think the most frustrating thing for fans is the fact that the flag doesn't go up till the play is completed. But I understand that. It's because of VAR. Because if you let the play happen, then you can go back and check it. If you call it offside, you, you could be wrong, and then you don't know what happens. Um, it was frustrating, but, you know... It was still good play. It happens. You get that timing worked out. If we're talking about offside, how many times did we catch Toronto offside the night? Over and over and over again. They we knew could, that coming in. Yeah, I mean, they could connect nothing going forward, which is really impressive. Again, on the defense's part, to keep us all in line, to be disciplined. But, you know. Yeah, I mean, I think we knew that also, uh, you know, Altidore not in yeah. the team also took a big weapon out of them. He almost always scores against those Absolutely. two. Absolutely. Know? But, I mean, I'm not going to worry about who wasn't there because, again, We've had games against teams that were worse than that, even when they're depleted, and we haven't played well. And Atlanta had played well tonight, and that's that's one of those things is I've banged on about having a result and a performance. You had both tonight. And in terms of Joseph passing those balls off, I mean, I think he's confident. You see that. I have no problem with him passing to score a good goal. We still scored those goals. He has two assists. Add that. I mean, he's showing another side of his game, and it makes him more dangerous when he's effective. He hadn't been effective in that role so far this season, but he's being effective now. And when you have all those things working together, 
that's when this team becomes dangerous going forward. And you saw them clicking tonight. And Tito Vijalba looks so comfortable coming off the left. And I think you and I, we've talked about that going all the way back to last season on the podcast and in fan cams, how much better he is coming off the left. He has so much more freedom to work within the system. And he was incredible tonight. But again, you had PC playing well. You had him playing well. You know Justin Miram's coming in. And you have him coming in with Barco coming back if he can stay fit. You have a very good forward you know, line, good attacking talent all across the board with rotation. That's good. And again, it's just going to keep being a process, keep getting more familiar. But they built off the performance. They built off the three points, four wins out of five, heading up the table, heading in the right direction. Let's get three more on Sunday. For sure, man. Atlanta! Atlanta!